Hey guys, okay, well I am back with part two of this, with this epic Sephora haul that um, I already put up the first part of it, so if you're interested in watching that one, you can check that one out. But this is going to be part two of it because I still have a lot of things to show you guys and I cut the, I decided to do it in two parts. But um, I still have these two full bags to go through. I mean, they're heavy. I still have this Chanel one to go through. So hopefully I get this, I get through this one pretty quickly. Okay, so if you are interested in seeing, if you're interested in seeing part two of this epic Sephora haul, just keep on watching. Okay, so I am just, again, gonna start just going into the bag, no random, like no specific order, just as I take it out, I'll show you guys what I got. Um, first things first is from YSL, from YSL. This is the Concentrated Instant Blur Natural Rosy Glow. This is um, a universal balm powder. Packaging is amazing. It's so like bougie. This is, is gold and then it has a baby pink on it with the gold YSL on it. It is so pretty. This is the back part of it. Ooh, that's me filming on my phone. And um, it also comes with this. It's gotta be the little dust bag for it, yeah. This is it right here. So pretty, it's black velvet. Oh, it comes with this little YSL, like a little spongy thing. Wow. And I guess this is, oh, look at this. It, the sleeve, it says YSL on the front. Can you see it? Yeah. And then it has two parts in here. It has one and then it has a divider and then the other side. Can you see it? Yes. So basically you put the packaging you put the product package packaging on the front side, I guess. And then you put this little part ooh, in the back. Look at that. See, so it keeps it from getting dirty. Oh, wow. That is so cool. And then when you open it, it has the mirror. And then this is it right here. It's like a balm. But when you touch it, it turns powdery. Wow. I don't even think you'll be able to see it. But this is it right here. Oh my goodness. I just, before I use it, I mean, I know it's a great product, but before I use it, I want to like look up on YouTube the best ways to use it. But I've been wanting it for a long time with the videos that I did see on it. And I really like this. So these were on my wish lists and I am so grateful that I was able to pick it up okay got this this was again this was in the aisle of doom by the register and this is by Kat Von D this is the everlasting lip duo it comes with these two lipsticks you see she's wearing an outer one and then she put the lighter color inside and these are right in the back right here I want that you could wear these on their own or it comes in a little black package like this in the color Suspiria. Did I butcher it? Sorry, Kai Bondi, if I did. But this is it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I love this formula. That's it right there. And then this one is in Melancholia. right next to it and this is it right here that's melancholia but is very very like luxurious eyelashes these are called fluff and dialed up by velour lashes right here I mean look how like huge they are can you see them look at that let me open them up for you Look at this. Wow. Go ahead, you could pass. Look at that. They're full, full lashes. This was also picked up in the Isle of Doom. 
this is what happens. This is what happens when Betsy gets left alone on the, on a aisle and has nothing to entertain her besides everything in the little aisle of the doom. This is what happens. So that's that. Next from the Isle of Doom, I got this Glam Glow little bottle. These little bottles are still like 20 bucks, but still, I wanted to try them. It's better than before getting the full size. I figured I'd try these out. This one is the Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. That's a blue one. Then I picked up also, because I have no control, I also picked up the Youth Mud Tingle Foliate, Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. This is the black and silver one. I figured I'd try that. I want to try everything, right? Yeah. Am I the only one? I doubt it. You know, you makeup lovers want to also. And I picked this up from Marc Jacobs. I've been wanting to get this, people, forever. I couldn't find it nowhere and I still every time I walk into a Sephora I still go down that aisle and I stand there and I bend down because it's gotta bend down to look and I look down there then I call the girl over and I'm like come here you know because I would open the drawer at the bottom and start scavenging you know that that drawer where they keep all the stuff as as backup and extra they keep it in that drawer and then they have some in the back but if it's not in that drawer, guys, it's not in the back. Because usually when they call it back, they'd be like, it's a negative. It's a negative. They don't have it. And I'm like, great. But anyway, I was like, let me see if they have it. And then I check, and they only had one left. Guys, this is flesh and fantasy. Flesh and fantasy. I can't believe it. <laughs> All right. So let me just show you guys this one. You know, I love, I, I've i come to love Marc Jacobs products. I do, I do. I'm wearing the Marc Jacobs bronzer right now. Hmm? 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 Do you see it? Do you see it? Let's call him Beto. Beto? Beto, you're under there, Beto. You're under there, Beto. We can still see you. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> this is it right here. Love the packaging. Little button. Open it up. Let's cover that. And this is it right here. Oh my gosh. I wanted this one so bad. And it ah, so exciting that there was one left. And I snatched it. I grabbed it. I grabbed it and practically ran. I haven't ran. I have these little things. These, they're so cute. This is how they give you the gift cards now. Be able to put it in, in here. Um, I got a whole bunch of these because I got a lot of gift cards in order to pay for all of these items. We emptied out this bag. Now to the bigger bag. Here we go. Got this. Oh, another thing I wanted so bad. This is the TARDIS. Pro palette from Tarte. Watch YouTube videos, and it's like I don't know that I really want something, but if I see something that catches my eye, I mean, I saw a lot of videos on these, but I was like, nah, I'm not gonna get that. I'm not gonna get that. But then you find yourself a Sephora, and you start swatching, and that's when you're like sold. I'll take it. But this is the palette right here, black on one side with gold, gold on the other side. And it's so funny. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see it. Boop. Do you see what I'm wearing? Do you want to see? I will show you. Okay. I have a regular top on. Let me, let me show you guys. Let me take a moment to be real with you. I got halfway comfortable for the house. But then I kept my top on. Let me show you. This is my top. See? And then, these are my pajama pants. Batman. These are Christmassy pants. See, Jingle Bells. Batman smells. That's what it is, people. That is what it is. Okay. 
I saw the reflection. Look at that. Bow. All right. Anyway, back to this haul. This is the palette right here. It has a huge mirror. It doesn't go all the way back, which that's kind of sucks. But let me get this plastic off. And look at these colors. Do you see that? Amazing. Wait. Is it blinding? Light. Okay. These are the colors. Total amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. And again, it's when I swatched them at the store that, I don't know what happened to my camera, but I was looking down here when, you know, anyway. So basically when I swatched it at the store, that's when I made my decision of I need that palette in my life. And I am so glad I picked it up. It has all the colors that I can possibly want. Like, it's very, see, these are all the swatchings right here. I haven't got, got the greens, I got your browns, I got your mauves. I mean, it's an amazing, amazing palette. I have a lot of these. I still kept them. This Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. This one right here. This one, I got it in the color light. I'm supposed to be visiting family today, and I'm like in my house doing YouTube videos. Crazy, right? But this is it right here. This is the concealer. I heard so many good things about it, and I really can't wait to try it. This is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade Lolita. I don't know what happened over here. I had a swatch. I don't know where to go, but it's not in my hand. <laughs> It's probably in my pants or something. Can't see. All right. But anyway, this is it right here. This is Lolita. See that? This is a swatch right here that I don't know where it went. I don't know. I don't know where to go. Nice one. Everything is nice, but these are just some items that you're like, holy crap. I can't believe I got them. But this is it. This is a Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer right here. I cannot believe Oh my goodness. I'm not here to brag. Let's get this straight. If you guys like really knew me, um, I am as humble as they come. This right here was purchased with a lot of gift cards and some money I put aside. And um, I was able to pick up gifts with it. But anyway, th this is it right here. Look at the packaging, it's amazing. It comes with this little tiny kabuki brush. I see people chucking it, you know, when I see the videos. I can't chuck it. No. Look, it says CD. I mean, it does, it feels a little, if you go like this, it feels a little rough. But to be honest, if you go like this, it feels very smooth. But if you're gonna be brutal with it and be like, ah, 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 it's, it's, it could be, a, I, I see where they say it's a little rough, but not when you're going like this. When you're going like this, honestly, it's soft. It's soft. I could do it. I could do it. And I guess, I guess it's to apply your highlight. Color 001. Oh, wow. Amazing. It has this little cover. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is it right here. Let's apply it. Let, is, let us apply it. Let's see. Is it subtle? Is it not working? Hmm. Oh, you see a little glow? You see a little thump or something? Uh. Ah, let's see. Let's keep playing with it. Guys, I'm really like, look what I'm doing. Let's see. A little something, something. A little something, something. Do you see a little something, sign? Is it on my finger? Okay, you can see it on my hand. Okay, you can see a little something. Can't, I guess not with the brush. Hmm. Keep it slow, okay. Tip of my nose, okay. We're glowing, we're glowing, people. We're glowing. I got another one of the Anastasia 100 Perk 
um, lippy. I swatched it before. It's like an eggplant. If you see part one of this video, this is my second one. I swatched it in part one of the video. It's eggplant. Kat Von D. Really love the formula. This is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And this one is Bow and Arrow. I've heard so many things about it. I've seen it swatched so many times on YouTube videos. And I figured, let me get it. It was sold out in a lot of the Sephora's that I went to. And in one, they actually had it. And you know I had to grab it. You know. This is a bow and arrow. Right here. The beautiful, beautiful brown. Absolutely love it. And I am so happy that I was able to pick it up. This is another whammy. This is from Guerlain Paris Lore. And this is S... This is the Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold Makeup Base. I mean, this is so luxurious. <sighs> Girl, sometimes you gotta treat yourself. But this is it right here. Look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh. Let's take a moment. Let's take a moment. Oh my God, it's absolutely beautiful. I had to pick it up. I'm so glad I did. I just gotta play with it. I gotta try it and play with it. I'll let you know if you guys... I'll keep you guys updated on how it is. If I don't like it, I'll make a video that I don't like it. But if I do, if there's no video of saying I don't like it, that means I do. Of the Marc Jacobs Lippies, this one is in number 230, Jador. This, is this color... I'm gonna swatch it right what oh boy another pattern guys another pattern let me show you this is Jador right here bow and arrow from Kat Von D Marc Jacobs Jador I got another Anastasia Brow Wiz I love these things <sighs> this one is in the color ebony I finished my other one so I picked up this I picked up another one this is it right here it has a little spoolie on the side and the other side this is from Kevin Kwan and it's the contour book um, it's, uh, <sighs> Kevin Kwan is expensive it is very expensive but I was able to pick it up so I did and this is from Kevin Kwan and it's like, it comes like this. Then you open it like this. I don't know what the hell happened over here. What the f Holy shit, this came damaged. Cut into it, you see that? Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh shit. All right, guys, I'm making a mess. This is it right here. Look at that. Oh my God. I must proceed. This is also an item that was sold out in a lot of the Sephora's. And for some reason, I went shopping earlier this morning and everything was available. And I was so happy, so happy. So I picked it up. This is the Tartlet Bloom palette by Tarte and this was actually in the bottom drawer again I had to ask one of the girls to check the bottom drawer to see if it was available and it was it was a little dusty I don't know what's going on I don't know what's going on but anyway this is the palette right here I haven't swatched it I did swatch it in stores this is another palette that I wasn't even thinking of getting. And because it was actually available, it sold out for a reason, right? Right? Do you think like that? Do you think like that? Suddenly it is, and then you want it so much more. Yeah, I'm one of those. So I couldn't leave it. I got it. This Marc Jacobs blush, I got in one of the Sephora's that I stepped into because Flesh and Fantasy was not available. You know what? I could just 
I'm not going to end up getting Flesh and Fantasy. Let me just pick up this one. This was my second best one that I wanted. I want the Flesh and Fantasy first, but I didn't. I wasn't able to pick it up right away. It wasn't available. It was sold out everywhere. So I found this one. This one is Lines. This was my second choice. Lines and Last Night. So after being on the third Sephora, I figured... I just picked this up because I wasn't gonna find Flesh and Fantasy. But then when I was when I went to the following Sephora, that's when I found Flesh and Fantasy. So like an RNG one right here. I just figured I'd pick this one up. I lost track of all the stuff that I was picking up, honestly. This is Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. I got this one in the color light. This is it right here, Born This Way. I figured I got the foundation. I picked up the foundation, so I figured I'd pick up the concealer, too. Are you like that? Are you guys like that, too? You pick up a whole bunch of different concealers just because it's the same brand as your foundation? Guilty. All right, next, from the Isle of Doom. I got these other Velour Lashes. Um, this one is Fluff and Thick. I'm wearing the Samantha Lashes today. Let me see. I cracked them open and I put them on. These are the Samantha from Huda Beauty. Lashes are the fluff and thick. These are it right there. They're very dramatic and very like wispy. And they go from small to big. Right there, this is in 316 French Tickler. It's just like a shine. It's like an orange. It's like a very, very light, light peach. But it's like the... It's like a lip gloss, but it got shine to it. You see that? From Kevin Aquan. This is also from the Isle of Doom. This one, these little things. Kevin Aquan is very expensive. Very expensive. Um, but this is it right here. This is the Contour Duo. This was the last one that was there. Kind of the reason why I was like, ooh, is this something good? Do I not know about it? What, like, what's going on? What's going on? So I picked it up. Even though the box is a little bit broken... But this little thing was like 25 bucks. This tiny little, it says Kevin Aquan is black. In the back is the Sculpting Powder in Medium and the Celestial Powder Candlelight. See, Medium and Candlelight. It comes with a little tiny mirror. And then this is it right here. So I guess this is like the bronzer. And there's a Sculpting Powder in Medium. Okay, and then... This is like a highlighting powder. This is the beginning of me getting into Kevin Aquan. Trying to perfect my, I wanna start like contouring cause right now I don't contour. Right now I just throw on bronzer, bronzer, blush, highlight and I'm out the door. But I wanna really start to like, man I have lipstick all over my pants. Like really getting into like the sculpting, you know? how I don't contour my nose or nothing, but I wanna try it. I wanna sculpt here. Am I putting makeup? Crazy that I put makeup. I want to start like contouring, like playing with it, you know, trying to, trying to, because my face is round, you know, I want to like sculpt it and like really hook it up. So, all right, guys, this is the end. My last product that I got from Sephora is the Shade and Light Contour Kit from Kat Von D. Love the casing of it. Look at it. And I'll it right here. Love it. This is going to keep me super busy. Days and days of fun. Now I'm going to show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx. Let's go. First, I got this right here. Is the purifying tea tree skin oil. I got a bottle of that. That was $7.99. Then I got this, I took it out of the box already, but I got this palette right here from Bobbi Brown. Regular price on this is like $80, $90, and I paid $59.99 at TJ Maxx. But it has like this leather outside, and I guess this is the information on the back. But this is the Warm Glow Eye Palette, but it's so cute. It looks like a little clutch. It has a mirror that opens all the way. 
and then these uh this is like a great like travel palette that it is so small and compact that you could just take it with you but this is it right here it has three mattes and six uh glittery ones as you can see you got one two three matte and then the rest a shimmery eyeshadows these to throw in my bag you know just so i don't use my very expensive tasha blotting sheets this one from bosha is the green tea blotting papers and i paid 2.99 for it at tj maxx formula x um nail polish kit i'm gonna give this as i'm gonna give this away to someone because i just noticed that I bought these single at Sephora for five dollars each. Hmm. Um. After this Sephora haul, by the way, guys, I don't think I'm gonna have another one for a little while. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna try to chill. But I ended up buying these for five dollars each, and I got this kit at TJ Maxx for five ninety nine. Yes, people. Five ninety nine. Two. Kat Von D's collaborations with Formula X at TJ Maxx for $2.99 right here. I got it in this color. This is, I see no color name on it, but let's check it out. Coven. I think that's the name of it. Coven. It's like this very shiny purple. It's like the photo. See the photo? This is the purple. Let me swatch it. So when I'm going to use this color... But it's pretty. But look at that color. When am I gonna wear this? I don't know. Maybe for a video. Okay, next I got this set. Is in like a hot pink color nail polish right here. They're like little mini lipsticks. Oh, so pretty. That's it right here. This is in the color Sexer. Yeah, Sexer. And this is the matching nail polish. All right, that's all I picked up makeup-wise at TJ Maxx. And next, I'm going to show you guys what my lovely husband got me for Christmas. Um, it's in this box, of course. I only unboxed one of the items, and I freaked out. I mean, freaked out. This is from Chanel. Do you see what this is? Guys. This is like a super, super expensive moisturizer. It's from Sublimage. Sublimage, if I'm saying it right. The packaging alone is like black and gold. Like, it's clear black and gold. I mean, even the CC on it is gold. What the heck is this? All right, it came off. It's something that must have fell on it and dried, but it's off now, see? Yes. Okay, this basically is creme of the creme of moisturizers. This is the ultimate, ultimate skin regeneration cream for face and neck. The story behind this is amazing. Just to make one of these bottles, they have to, they go somewhere and there's a story to it. You guys should look it up. It's really amazing. It's so luxurious and it smells amazing. Just amazing. I was, I'm very, very, very lucky to have this. I'm literally going to use a tiny, tiny bit at a time. It's so expensive. This is like, I'm not bragging, people, but I don't know. I think it's $300, $300, no more than $400 before moisturizer. That's insane. He went, he got it for me. I mean, this is not something that I will go in and buy. Um, it comes with a little spoolie, but I left it on my, that I left on my counter. I opened that. I was like, oh my God. Oh my god! Look at the packaging. Look at the packaging. 
see the Chanel little ribbons and the bow. My husband knows me. He knows me. This is the Brilliant Extreme Glossomer. It's like the lip gloss. And this is a number 46 Giggle. That's 40. But this is it right here. It is beautiful. You could use it as a topper or on its own. But it's absolutely beautiful. And I like the name too. It's called Giggle. Look how beautiful is the packaging. I've been wanting this, no lie, for like five years. For like five years and I never picked it up. The Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Right here. I can't believe I got this. I've been wanting this for so many years and I've never... You would think, right? I, I pick up so many things at Sephora and I wouldn't pick this up. I mean, this was like 50 something dollars here. Right? But this is it right here. Such This thing will last you forever, I think. Look at it. Even the way it's poured in and made. It's amazing. In a beautiful... I can't, I, can't, I can't even swatch it right now. But this supposedly um, is good for all skin tones. But I can't believe I got it. And I am so happy. I am so happy. And that is everything. That concludes this long video. You guys watched this whole video and you tagged along. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed seeing all the items that I got. Um, I really appreciate you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you hit like. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And I am so happy to have you. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit subscribe. There is a little bell on the side that you could also hit that lets you, it notifies you when I put up new videos, which I do a lot of whole videos. And I want to start making get ready with me's and some tutorials, but that should be coming up very soon. If you have any comments or if you want to see a specific item that I, that I used, that you saw that I purchased, if you want to see it more in depth, let me know. Just comment down below. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. And... I hope you guys had a great Christmas spent with family and loved ones, as I did. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.